Hey, so this is Joey. I'm down here at Occupy Wall Street. And, hey, can I ask you your name? My name is Ari. Ari. Ari, I saw a video of you online. It's, it kind of went viral. Okay, there's a guy. You know what I mean by viral? Yeah, it went yeah. all over the internet. Yeah. There's a guy who claimed to be a Jew. Right. That went off on you for being a, a Jew with all the money. Right. And you were the cause of the problem. Right. Are you familiar with the video? Yes, I am. I had a job, Mo. No, 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 I do have a job. You're a bum, Jew. Man, I'm a Jew. Why are you fighting with us? You got the money. That's why you're fighting, you Jewish man. We got the, you got the money. Because I work for what? No, no, no. I don't understand what you can't even speak English. Are you Israeli? Go back to Israel. Somebody called me all the way from North Carolina and told me about it. Right. That's when I saw it. Right. So, I mean, it, it, a lot of people are saying that there's a lot of anti-Semitism down here at Occupy Wall Street because of this video right. and, and a couple other ones because there's a couple of characters around here running around right. that are spouting off, you know, anti-Jew stuff, you know, right. anti-Semitic comments. Right. You've been down here a lot, right? Yes. Have you seen, like, a lot of anti-Semitism down here? Uh, I saw people under the breath that will say, you know, Jew this and Jew that, you know, that the Jews have all the money, Jews should not be in charge of the banks, which is not true, Jews are not in charge of banks. No, Jews are not in charge of real estate. Yeah, so, no, 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 by not Jews to owning real estate, it's maybe they work for it, which I'm sure they did, or maybe they inherited Their mothers it. make sure they go to college, college and they get educated. Right. Why not? Education is very I, important. I think so. I mean, and so is the, if you uh, see the Asian community, they send the kids to the best school. They want same thing, and they, and, they, and, they, and they do good. That they do very good, and I don't think it's anything wrong with, with education. Matter of fact, when I talk to people over here, they all say I have a master degree, and I have this, and I have that. But instead, instead to channel their knowledge for other things, they want the government to give the money. They want to blame Wall Street. Not everything in Wall Street is good. Not everything in the government is good. But if you want to change something, I think you've got to go and vote for the right people to be there, change the system, and do the right thing. But being here and doing all this noise, when you have 10 different people doing 10 different things, I don't think it's going to bring to a change. Especially with the poison of saying that anti-Semitism is the cause. Now, I, I mean... With I, I mean, are you hearing that from a lot of people, or are you hearing it just from a few? Uh, just, I'm not saying everybody, but a lot of them blame it's a guy over there who says that the United States shouldn't give Israel any money. I mean, there's thousands of people here. I don't think if it's thousands of people, but I think 10% of, of the people are not anti-Semite as they will come out with that, but they will say in about the way that there's a lot of things due to the Jews being not in control, but the Jews have money, the Jews is in the White House, the Jews here and the Jews there. And I don't think it's the right thing because you have the Rockefellers, you have the Kennedys, you have uh, all kind of people. I think everybody who is on the top has money. Why? Because they went to schools, they went to do the business, and this, they were successful. Yes, you have corrupt politicians, you have corrupt businessmen, but it doesn't mean that it's all Jews. I'll play devil's advocate, yeah. okay? I'll play devil's advocate. They'll say, which they've said before, and I've read all this on the internet, right. that the Jews are such a small percentage in this country, in this world, right. yet they control so much. Well, Does that revert back to what we were saying about education? They're not controlling or, it. Or is that a plot okay. on the part of, you know, it's not the elders plot. of Zion it's, that old... It's, it's, it's not a plot and it's not it's just anti-Semitism, pure anti-Semitism. People right. hate the Jews, period. Not all of them, but you have a big percentage of people who that's their mentality. And then I hear I hear people like that guy that confronted you, goes by the name Lotion Man. Uh -huh. uh, he says he's a Jew, but he says he's against Zionist Jews when I spoke to him. Well, he doesn't, because maybe he doesn't know what the Zionists mean. Zionists is not poison, Zionists is not anything else. It's like the, the first, our forefathers, they came, they came to the United States, they were pioneers, so Zionists came to Israel as pioneers from all over the world. They didn't want to kill anybody, they wanted to fight as partisans in, the, in Europe against the Nazis, and they just wanted to country for themselves. It doesn't make them bad people. It doesn't make them anything. It's an 
It's an idea to make Israel prosper and to have a state. That's all. It's nothing else. To does does it give them? Does it give them permission to go after non-Jews and steal from them? No. And rob from them no. and cheat them? No. And treat them as no. second-class citizens? No. no. But you have all kind of people all over the world. You have Jews who maybe don't act like Jews, but they're still Jews, and I, and I don't stand up for them because it doesn't mean that just because you're Jewish, you know, you can do that. But then you have Gentiles who do the same thing. You have Muslims who do the same thing so you say in, the name of, in the name of money. But I don't say that all Muslims, Saudi Arabia, all the people with the oil, I don't say all Muslims, you know, they have the oil and the, all the rich people in the world, and they have a world plot to... to away from with the Western world just because the Muslims it's not a conspiracy and the same thing with the Jews or the Gentiles the Rockefellers didn't want to do with the world did away with the world and they were you know very big family the Kennedys also to control all the liquor business they wanted to make everybody drunk no they just wanted to make money period it's a business and the Jews the same thing they say the Jews are in the diamond business so that's what they learned that's what they know of course it's money in diamond this, but so is money in selling hamburgers or having McDonald's. Have 10 stores of McDonald's, you'll be very rich. What does it mean? A lot of people have hotels, motels, and have chains of Dunkin' Donuts, all kind of stuff like that. It means that they, you know, they want to take over the world, or because of them, the, Dunkin', the, the coffee costs a dollar fifty a cup. It's not so. So happen diamond is a very expensive commodity and the Jews trade in it, but they don't make profit a million dollars on a million dollar stone. You know? So it's ridiculous when people come and say, you Jews have all the money. I'm Jewish, I work for a living, I don't have all the what money. What do you do? I drive a taxi, a limousine. I work very hard. And you're from New York, money. right? I'm serious. Yeah, I'm from New York. I live around the Wall Street area. All right. But, you know, yes, you have people who, you know, not making their money. How come you don't, like, own a taxi company if you're Jewish? I did. Oh, you I, did? I, I was trying to make a joke. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, did, I did a company, you know, and I made the wrong moves, and I lost it. Okay. But it's not, it's due to my my fault, you know what I'm saying? I made the wrong moves and I sold it and I sold the wrong time. So I can't expect to go to say to Wall Street, listen, come and bail me out. Hey, you hey, do you know they had it in the news today, two medallions just sold for a million dollars each. It's okay. A million dollars. It's okay. Because if that's what the market bears Well that's what the market bears, but I'm just letting you know what a medallion's I worth know. now. I bought medallions for seven thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah. I had a few medallions. I sold them at the wrong time, so I lost that, and I put it in different businesses, and they went bankrupt. So now the government should come and bail me out, and I say, listen, I could have had the million, four, five cabs, and have two, three million dollars. No, it's due to my thing. Instead to make a right turn, I made the left turn. But everybody wants to blame Wall Street. Wall I think you know what it is a lot is they're blaming the corruption on Wall Street Absolutely. and how Wall Street, you know, can go around and you know influence the corporations, can go around and influence the politicians in this country and dictate what the laws are going to be and, and you know and, and, how, and how everything's going to be and, and, and you know and put it all on the backs of the working class. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that politicians should accept any money. It shouldn't from any group. Shouldn't be any money. Any, any money. Yeah. They should run on their own merits. I mean of that course, is. That in itself is saying you're paying off, you're bought. I'm sorry? That in itself, taking money, is saying you're bought, you're paid off. Of course. You're in somebody's but pocket. You're indebted to the people that gave you the money. Absolutely. But the thing you is... You know, Obama, let me, let me throw this in there. Obama is taking more money from Wall Street than all the GOP candidates right now combined. Absolutely. And people want to Absolutely. say this, oh, you know, this is all Obama supporters here. And it's, it's not. People here are disappointed with Obama. Listen, I don't know who is here, but I know one thing. When you ask these people what the solution, anybody says, take the money from the rich, but they don't come up with a plan to there, say this, this, and this you have to do. There are, some, there are some simple people here with some simple uh, solutions like, you know, and the Fed and capitalism, get rid of money, we don't need money. Well, you know, these are ridiculous in my the, opinion. You, you know what I'm saying? But there are people here and with I, some sensible solutions. And, and, and I tell people who walk around with iPads, iPhones, wear all kind of fancy clothes, which they're entitled to. But don't blame the corporation because somebody has to make that kind of stuff. If yeah. you don't want to have that kind of stuff, live like the Amish. I think they're, they're angry at the corruption, not necessarily the corporations or capitalism. 
and this is me speaking from what I've sensed. Is they're, they're, they're angry with the with the corruption, man. Everybody you should know? be mad with the corruption. Nobody should stand uh, say the corruption is right. Corruption is the worst thing in the world. Corruption is the worst thing, but those people Very should be. No judge should send them for probation on this. You steal, you go to jail. Period. A dollar or ten million because you lost the, the people's trust. You should not be in any key position if you steal the money. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. It's okay. been talking to you, man. Thanks Take for your care. feedback, man. Okay. Take care.